soft links and hard links this is a uh, one of the important topics in linux and uh, uh, something that um, you will have to remember because you will be working on creating soft links and hard links in your linux career or if you're going to be working in system administration capacity before I tell you anything about what a soft link and hard link is, I have to tell you inode. What a inode is? Inode is basically a pointer or a number of a file on a hard disk. So if I create a file called, let's say, Hulk, that file name is H-U-L-K. That is the name for me as a human for me to understand the name of the file. But computer does not understand names. Computer understand numbers. So every time we create a file, computer assigns a number to that file on a hard disk and associate that number to it. That number is called inode. And every time we try to retrieve that file or read that file, it goes and retrieve that number. So now, now you know the inode. Let me tell you about a soft link now. A soft link is a link that when created and it will be removed if a file is removed or renamed. So if I create a, a file and I link create a link a soft link to that file so once i create it it actually looks for that i know through that file so that creates a soft link so if i remove the source file it will remove the destination link whereas hard link is when deleting or renaming the source file the hard link will not change it will remain the same as if you have copied it to create a hard link command you will run ln as in link to create a soft link you will run the same command but with the option minus s and i have a picture right here which of course a picture speaks a thousand words so if you see on the right hand side it's my soft link it is connecting through my file to the inode Whereas my hard link is connecting straight to the inode. So if the middle part, which is my file.txt, goes away, my soft link goes away. However, in my hard link file, if middle file, my file.txt goes away, it doesn't matter. The file stays. Let's get let's log into our machine, our Linux machine, and I will explain to you much better how this links work. By the way. One more thing I should mention, link is just like a shortcut in a regular term, as if you are creating a shortcut on your desktop in your Windows environment. You have a file located somewhere in Windows, System32, blah, 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 blah. Of course, you have to go to that file all the time by uh, navigating through that file system. Click, 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 click. Hmm, so much work, man. So what do we do? We create a shortcut to our desktop. All you have to do is double click and boom, it runs the same just like that we have Linux soft link and hard link so without further ado I'm gonna log into my machine and I'll explain to you okay this is our machine I'm just gonna drag it a little more to the left just wanted to confirm again it I am logged in as myself um, this is my name this is my home directory perfect I want to create a file called Hulk. Everybody knows Hulk, right? Fun character, big giant character. I like it, like his movies. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, I created a file called Hulk. Now I will like to create a link to that file Hulk. I will go to temp directory. I am in temp, not in my home directory. And I want to create link soft link to Hulk and Hulk file location is home I absolve and the name of the file is Hulk boom it created the file link how do we verify it your friendly command ls minus ltr and if you see right at the bottom it is telling you it has created a link 
and Linux operating system since we are running uh, Linux with the GUI it changes some of the color it changes it to blue so right here the first bit it's telling you it is L what is L for L is for link what is D for D is for directory yes very good and what is a file that does not have anything of course it's a file I already answered that okay anyway so, so it created a link now I will go back to my home directory by just typing CD PWD to just confirm I am in my home directory yes I am and I will type something in my uh, file called Hulk so I'll do echo and do um, Hulk is a superhero okay and I will I'll put that to Hulk file when I do cat Hulk it's there right okay now I'm gonna go to my temp directory and I'll do cat just confirm I'm in my temp directory yes and I'm gonna cat the Hulk and you see it has the same content that I just typed in so it's just a shortcut just a link now I will come back to my home directory and I will run ls minus l i what is i i stands for i nodes if I wanted to find out the i node of this file I will run i so um, yeah it's there but since I didn't type ls minus ltr it went in the middle so I'll type ls minus ltr and then i so this way it will be at the bottom so if you see the i node number right here is the number that is associated with my file hulk again i node is the number that is remembered by your operating system and it is on your disk it doesn't remember hulk when i go to temp and do ls minus ltr and right here if i do ls minus ltr i to find out the i node of this hulk it has a different i node is it a different i'm not sure let's check ls minus ltr i and i'm gonna do home i have saw hulk it has a different i node so this one is remembered as a different file it is remembering as its link it does not know that it is actually a file it just knows that it's a link so this number is associated to a link now I will go to my home directory again and this time I'm gonna remove the Hulk Hulk is gone from my home directory right I'm gonna go back to temp directory and I'm gonna see where my Hulk is by the if I just type Hulk it will just give me Hulk there you go so Hulk is there but it's no longer blue or it's look crooked why it looks crooked because the file is gone if I do cat right now and do Hulk tell me what will happen no such file or directory of course there is no such file because the link is removed the source link is removed so the link will still linger around even though the source of the link is not there so it's better that I'll just remove the link as well and just verify it yep it's gone if I just wanted to do ls minus ltr just do hulk yeah see no file so that's how the soft link works now I will explain you how the hard link works let's go and create our file again we'll call it hulk again and I will put something inside the file echo hulk is a superhero okay I'll put that in Hulk how do I verify it we'll just do cat the file and yes Hulk is a superhero the content is there now I will go into temp directory and I want to link to this file creating hard link you see I'm not going with minus s option s stands for soft link so I'll do link home I have Zal Hulk
link is created. How do we verify it? You just run ls minus ltr and you will see at the bottom it's telling me that the link is created. Now the difference between this link, hard link and the soft link is that there is no pointing to other file. That is the difference of hard link and soft link. Now if you read if I read the content of this file, it says Hulk is a superhero. So same content, everything is the same. Now let me go back to my home directory. I'm in that home directory. Let's check that Hulk file and I will write down something else in it now. Echo. One, two, three. And then two Hulk. Let's read it. Hulk is a superhero and then one, two, three in the line. I'll go back into my temp directory and cat Hulk and it is added here as well. So what is telling us that you could modify the source file, you could modify the contents of the source file, it will modify the destination link, which is perfect. Now let's go to my home directory again. And this time I will remove Hulk. All right, Hulk file is gone. We confirmed it, it's not there. Now I will go back to temp directory and I will do ls minus ltr again. And you will see the file still exists, the link still exists. And when we do Hulk, and it does still have all the contents that we put it in. Wow, okay. So what is it telling us? It's telling us that in the hard link when you remove the source of the file it does not remove the destination so that's the basic difference is i'll go ahead and just remove this hulk file as well the hulk link as well so um please do remember the difference between soft link and hard link many times these questions will be asked during the interview if you're not going for the interview if you are just wanted to um level up your career. Have fun.